The Olympics are now underway in Beijing, but a campaign is hoping to bring attention to the ongoing crimes against humanity happening in China. Rushan Abbas is a Uyghur American activist and founder of Campaign for Uyghurs. She's with us this morning to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Larry and Robin, for having me. Tell us the, the nature of the persecution that is happening there. In our homeland, uh, concentration camps, modern day slavery was forced labor, Orwellian surveillance, and systematic sexual violence and the torture have become the norm today. Uyghur women's bodies have been become the battleground of China's uh, genocide against my people, while the Uyghur women are facing systematic mass rape, forced sterilization, and abortions. The Chinese Communist government's the harsh genocidal policies and the, their ultra-nationalistic policies, and that they have been confirmed through Beijing's own leaked documents. So what the Chinese government is doing today is a war against women, against children, and war against the, any kind of original thought. Well, and we also war against the democracy and the uh, human values. Thank you. What is being done in the international community to, to highlight what might be going on there? Obviously, the Olympics happening in China and the IOC uh, is still holding the Olympics there. Yes, uh, very uh, unfortunately, um, uh, the Olympics are a huge disappointment. Um, the countries uh, like United States leading the diplomatic boycott and the other sanctions uh, with the share uh, the valued countries. But uh, when you look at the International Olympic Committee refusing to end their complicity with the uh, uh, current genocide, they have legitimized the uh, genocide just like what they did back in 1936 in Berlin. Um, the granting this prestigious uh, games to Beijing. They have provided uh, basic the cover of the games, those sports watch, uh, sports watch and the, the Uyghur genocide. Yeah, so um, uh, there are still American sponsors, of course, uh, NBC broadcasts the games. Do these entities, are they just ignoring it? Uh, does a country like China, do they have some explanation? Do they deny that all this is taking place? Of course, they deny, um, just like uh, they call my own sister a retired medical doctor, a gentle, non-political, law-binding grandmother who has taken SACCP's retaliation for my activism here in America. Uh, only six days after my public uh, denouncement of Beijing's genocidal policies back in September 2018, um, while my sister suffers as an innocent civilian hostage, the Chinese government, of course, uh, you know, denies this. But when you look at the corporate sponsors and the, the CCP's Chinese government's attempts to silence the Western media, the NBA, NFL, and even Hollywood, even so many of the politicians and scholars, when you look at all the uh, famous celebrities who are usually so vocal against any kind of uh, social injustice, where are they today against the Uyghur genocide? When the perpetrator is China and the perpetrator has money and the power, they all look away. So when you look at it, it's not just about the Uyghurs anymore. It's about the free world and the democracy kowtowing to a dictatorial regime like Today's China is one one's betrayal of the values and humanity. Well, I'm sorry to hear about what's happened to your sister. For people who want to help or get more information, is the best to go to your website? Yes, uh, we established Campaign for Uyghurs in 2017 to, uh, to promote the advocate human rights. So, uh, yes, please share the information and educate yourself um, because, you know, you are doing that for the future of all people and the, the free world. We must stand against this encroaching evil. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.